So now let's fix this problem right here that we don't see the elements. And I've told you before, it's because because of these breakpoints and uh, after 670, we hit the second, the third and fourth elements. So this is applying to all the list items. So maybe we can change this to actually a class name like .li and then go back right here and go to every single list item. Okay, to all of them. Okay, just to make sure. And then I'm gonna add a class name which is gonna be size.li list item like that. So there is one thing, what is help? Okay, so I forgot this one. So let me copy that and add it to help. I like that. So this is gonna create this for us, but this is better because if you go back to a large screen, that's how it looks, so a smaller screen is how it looks. And then we can go back to the size for the menu. So after everything, we can also select the unordered list and then also select the li and then so for the list item we're gonna make the height 30 pixel like that and inside every one of them we have a link which is an e tag sorry an e tag i don't know what i'm doing i'm gonna move one so for this we're gonna make the width 100 percent and then simply we're gonna have a padding lift of one ring so that's gonna push it from the left so why it doesn't work so we added the padding but it doesn't refresh this so let me go back to the user menu and make sure okay okay so this is a ul why this is a dev this is a ul sorry so and now we have it there so let me go back to the normal zooming state and i've see okay so everything looks all right so let me also uh add like an hover state so when we have we want to change like the color so let me just see what color we have so, have. so i'm just gonna try this color i don't know if it's gonna look the best but so when we hover, I want to change the background. So this is going to be a long dip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then BE. So let me just try that. Okay, I like it. It looks nice. So account, my orders, message center, address, wish list. So just one thing to remember, I might change this stuff like the menu and I may change some bit of style in the final version because it's always up to change and always up depending on what you want and what you need. So don't be like copying everything. You can be creative with it. So this is after the list item. Now maybe we can go back and change this to true. So now we can see the image and the rest. And you actually can show uh, the things that you want right here. So let me go back. So after the unordered list, so we can have the image. So that's going to control that image, which is called menu image. And then the width 100 pixel. We need to add importance because we already styled the image and for the height also 100 pixel. And then important like that. Let me zoom out. Okay, so this looks normally fantastic. Zoom in again. I always want to make sure it looks the best. And then also I'm going to go inside the column div. If you remember, this column has, okay, where is it? This one, it has the three spans that we have right here. So for the column, let me just see. So we're going to have display flex and then flex direction to be column, which already what we have. And then for the gap, we're not going to have anything. So for the span, I'm going to go to the last of type, which is the last one. So the last of type, and I'm going to change the font size of it to 14 pixels. And then the color to be blue color. Okay, like that. And then text decoration to be underline. Like that. So, and we're done with the menu. Almost. We need to do just the logic behind hiding and showing. So I actually like it. Sometimes I, I lose sense. Sometimes I lose sense like of how things look when I start zooming in and zooming. But... I like it so let me go back and now we simply can go back right here so we can have like a something a state for visible and then also set to visible and then we're going to use the use state so in the beginning it's going to be false so it's not going to be showing so this is in the in the our final example is going to be if we have a user so if we are not this is not related to this what am i doing this is just after hovering we're going to hide it and show it so let me take the visible I'm going to show what I'm going to do. So this menu only showing when visible is true like that. So as it's false, it's not going to show. But when we hover on this list item right here, which is this one. So on mouse over. Okay. I'm just going to simply go and set visible to true. So when I hover it, so I want also when I unhover that. So I'm going to copy that. So this is going to be 
when we change it to false or mouse leave so when we leave that okay so when we unhover so we hover and hover it's gonna hide but also i want when i'm on this one it shows okay so as you see this looks fantastic that's why we had this ai that has everything because if i'm already right here i'm already inside that ai i don't have like to do other logic which a lot of people tend to do and it kills the you know the professionalism of your coding style okay so this is fantastic you uh, you show and then out and then you hide okay this is absolutely beautiful let me just see how it's gonna look the normal state yeah it looks amazing it's up to you to do a few changes i'm just like showing you the basic of things and then you can you know be creative